Illinois soils are short of moisture in the southern half of the state, and a second year La Nina points to a greater potential for a 2018 drought. That makes Tony Studer's research at the University of Illinois more important, since it analyzes the efficiency of corn hybrids in how they use moisture. And so if you can, you, you can yield the same amount with using less water, that gives you protection over periods of dryness. And so we're spending a lot of time on developing these lines so that as weather becomes more variable and we have drier years like we've had this past year, that the lines, because they use water more efficiently earlier in the season, there's more water available in the soil later in the season and they never experience a stress. But how does corn become more efficient in water use? And so we have things that where we reduce the leaf area, change the number of leaves on the plant, all in an effort to try to make the most efficient plant possible. Because really there's a, tr a trade-off in, in uh, producing a plant, right? So we want to make enough green material, enough leaf material to produce the energy to fill the grain, but leaves are not something you harvest out of the field. So it has to be this balance of producing the energy with the leaves, but not producing too many leaves because you'd rather put that energy in the grain. And so we have a few projects related to that harvest index question of producing just enough leaves to get you maximized yield. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.